Um, welcome back. Uh, my name is Tawanda, but my friends call me Tutu, and I love to create. So now we're uh, winding down with our uh, Black Panther inspired Henley t-shirt. So I've already went ahead and sewed up, did the hemming on the sleeve and sewed up one side to save us some time. So I'm going to show you how to do the same thing. Now initially I was going to use my twin needle, ah, twin needle here to hem up the uh, sleeves and the bottom part of the shirt. <laughs> but uh, for some reason, my needle does not like this material. Could be that my twin needles are dull and I need to buy some new ones. But this is kind of what the stitch will look like. I don't know if you can see that. So you're basically, with the twin needle, you can do a double stitch like this, okay? that uh, has a zigzag on the back that makes it stretchable for like knits and things and also like a nice decorative stitch anytime you need to do like a double um, stitch for decoration. Now uh, since I didn't like it so I went ahead and just did a zigzag stitch just a you know bigger a bigger zigzag stitch to finish up the hem. I know you can't see it because it's tonal, but oh well. All right, so let me get started now with how I figured out the measurements. So I'm, I'm doing one inch hem for the cuff area, and then I'm gonna do a one inch hem for the uh, bottom area of the shirt. So to figure that out, you get your ruler. Let me go to the machine out of the way. All right, you get your ruler and you figure out where you're going to so since I want to do an inch two inches so I'm gonna take my ruler and then you can use chalk if you like to draw two inches like to mark where two inches is now the reason why we're marking where two inches is because you're gonna do an inch fold up and so wherever you fold up to that that line is the line that you're going to fold up to or him too. All right. So then once you mark that line, just go ahead and start folding up your hem to it. So it's like the edge. It's like the edge of the sleeve here. And crap. <laughs> I made a mistake. I marked it on the, uh, <laughs> on the right side of my fabric. <laughs> okay. So crazy stuff like that happens. So in that case, let's start from the beginning. We're going to hem, we're going to mark two inches on the wrong side of your fabric. Okay. And I could just take that out with like a, I could just scrub it out. Some water and a towel and it'll come right out. All right. So now we're going to fold it back up for a uh, one inch. Now also what I like to do is after I've already folded up since I already did the other sleeve, I want, I, normally I would do them at the same time. Um, instead of, I will fold them both at the same time instead of one at a time. But for instructional purposes, I just did one at a time. So then also that we can save time on uh, filming. All right, so got it. Okay, alright, so you'll fold it up to the wrong side and it'll look something like that. Okay. So now we're ready to start sewing. No, we're not. <laughs> I take that back. We need to uh, measure and make sure that it's going to be the same length as the other sleeve, other side. So, all right. Let's just put them, and you can do that, just like putting them together. And I usually go by like the underarm seam. 
that's the easiest. All right, so yeah, so we're looking pretty good on distance on evenness. Now, we're going to sell. All right. So now it will look something like this. So we're going to put right sides together of the shirt and then we're going to pin it and then we're going to sew the sleeve down. Make sure you're matching up the arm hole seams and I'll be right back. Okay, so now that I've sewn up my two sleeves, let me show you what those look like with the inside on the out. Alright, so that's the front. And this is the back. Alright, so now we need to do the hem portion of the bottom part of the foot. All right. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna measure up two inches, fold up until we reach the top of the line, and then zigzag stitch it around. Be right back. All right, guys, we're back. So now as you can see, I've completed my um, Black Panther inspired and we shirt now uh, okay so yeah so this is what it looks like this is what the sleeve turn this way look like here with the design that we did oh let me refresh your memory on the sketch so this is the sketch here all right and then my back like I said I left it plain I used the dissension in to make it fit a little bit tighter but I think overall it was um, pretty good success. So, what I'm going to end up probably doing is going to have a giveaway on uh, once I reach 100 subscribers on my YouTube channel, I'm going to give I'm going to give this away to one of my lucky subscribers. So, go ahead, guys, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I hope you guys enjoyed the project of creating uh, a superhero-inspired Henley t-shirt. See you guys soon.